Look at that play. Wow. Okay, we're going to compare a used ring gear, very well used. This is used also, but we bought this for a lot better economical price than buying them new. Uh, 2000 Chevy Silverado. Uh, this is the 8 and 5 8 rear end, uh, 373 ratio. Anyway, zoom in here and let's show you some tooth wear. And I hope this focus is in okay. All right, I get my screwdriver here. I can come down here on this tooth and actually feel a little line. There's actually a line here where the drive pinion, the drive pinion teeth, obviously worn, and these teeth are worn almost to a knife's, almost to a knife's edge. That the tooth is worn so narrow, it's just worn, pinched down. Okay. Now just compare that, we'll just turn the camera over here to the other one we just purchased. And I think you can see how much wider the tooth is here. I mean that's like a quarter inch wide on the top of the tooth here. And these are really narrow. Hope you can see that. I mean down here, it's practically out to a knife's edge. It's just really worn down. These are much wider. Okay, so we've had a lot of wear. This truck did a lot of towing. The customer said, yeah, I've towed a trailer a whole lot over the Teton, over Teton Pass. <laughs> so, having shown a few of those wear areas, let's go to the new gear in the same kind of area I was pointing to before. Now this this is the torque side or the drive side of the tooth. The, the tapered side, does that make sense? This side with more of a slope to it, more of a taper, that's the coast side. So when you let off, the, when you let off you're decelerating the teeth contact here, but accelerating we're wearing on this side, the steep side. That's the drive side, the steep side, the torque side. But this one here has no little ledge or shoulder here. This is nice and smooth, clear through. So we're going to put this carrier and ring and pinion set uh, back into this truck. What this sounded like, uh, driving, just normal driving, getting the speeds even above 15 miles per hour, it sounded like you had a little, little bullet bike in your back <laughs> in the rear end of this truck. Just a nice little growler, that some folks would call it a howl. A nice higher pitched howl sound, howling sound. So, there we go. All right, a little bit more on this ring and pinion. Of course, that makes a nice little stand. <laughs> um, I don't know how close we can get on this without making it blurry. But this tooth, this drive pin house worn down almost to a knife edge. There's a little step. A step. It's worn down so far that down in the side of the tooth in the bottom of this little valley, there's a step. I'll bet you there's thirty thousandths of material, at least on this end of the tooth, that's gone. I'm just estimating, but it's at least twenty, twenty-five. You can see that or not. That's pretty impressive on where.